crazy what can happen in just a few weeks. If people weren't convinced, they damn sure were now. Undefeated. This drove in-state rivalries through the roof. Yeah, sure, our conference, maybe not the hardest thing to deal with, but this team is winning games. Of these games, TJ played in just two. He was meant to be the front man, the glimmering hope. But with the abundant talent that flooded Green Lake, TJ might not even have a starting spot anymore. Trust me, the talent was there. TJ physically as a gridiron player is a lot better than Tim O'Neill. But as cliche as it sounds, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not to mention Tim was one of the most popular people on the team. Something was off though. This wasn't the same TJ as before. Did he have a reason to care about Green Lake anymore? There is a particular school out there about to see their star running back graduate. I wonder what could possibly be going on behind the scenes. Alright fellas, what's good? Orientated Chihuahua here, back with another episode of our Green Lake Owls Team Builder Dynasty. Now I guess the first thing I should probably point out is that we are ranked. Dope! I can't say that I'm surprised at the same time, you know? With that being said, let's go check out who is in the top 25 so we can actually get a full-on engagement on what's going on. So Alabama, of course, is number one, 6-0. Good to see. Nothing out of the ordinary, really. Every school is dominant. However, Ohio State is 4-2. The game works in mysterious ways, my dude. Mysterious ways. Boston College also crept into the top 25. They beat Clemson last week. They're also 4-2. I don't know if that gives them a top 25 ranking, especially 19. USF also crept into the top 25 with another 4-2 record, my dude. What is going on here? We handed Michigan a fat L. Penn State also handed Michigan a fat L. I would show you guys scouting, but there is honestly nothing to update you guys on. Everything is the exact same. The only difference is... We have a couple of people coming in a bit later in the season, so I will definitely keep you guys up to date and show you in the next episode what exactly is going on. That being said, we have a personal team to face right here. A lot of you guys that are subbed to me would also be subbed to Flemlo, and you would know that his channel initially was based a lot off the UTEP miners, but they are one of five. If you guys are a proud member of the channel, do not forget to leave a like down below, and that being said, let's get it. <clears throat> Okay, so UTEP comes out off the kickoff, scores a touchdown, and misses the PAT in typical NCAA 14 fashion. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Stiletto the stiletto, my dude. And a little cool thing that maybe some of you might have noticed, but not a lot of you, is that we've gone from having Green Lake and our little rectangle down there to just having GLA, and that's because we're ranked, my dude. That 21 taking up a lot of space in that rectangle. go. Ah. Ah, oh, shit. That's why it's not a good idea to scramble with a pocket passing quarterback. Pro strats, boys. Gotta make sure they can't see it. McGinnis, I need you to make a play, bro. Let's go, Crow! Alright, man. Let's start getting the ball to Tim O'Neill. Oh, shit. Wow. What happened to our O-line? Like, what? What were the left guard and left tackle doing the entire time? But good blocks, mate. All right, Schwanz, the dick himself, is out here. Schwanz is wide open, mate. Schwanzy dog. Oh, he got pushed out of bounds. That is one powerful Schwanz. I tell you that much. The blocks. Wow. Good job, seventy-six. This is going to one of two people right here. Oh man, I hate this third down cheese right here, man. When you get the ramen noodles on the field and shit. That's when you know it's getting real right there. Bop! There we go. I thought I missed it for a damn second there. <laughs> Number one defense in the country, mate. I'm telling you right now. Let's go, man! Our D-line isn't even that good, mate. Oh, we got this. Get that block, though. Bop! Okay. I don't know if I trust this star over here or not. You straight up got secondary members making our running backs look like garbage, my dude. Shit. I oh, could tackle, my dude. <laughs> You're so lucky. And look at this. They're putting on the big boy balls right now. UTEP. The Aaron Jones-less UTEP. 
Come on, we knew it was going to be a run. Fair enough. There we go, Gresh. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, of course they're going to go for it. But the thing is, do they go to that running back Walter Dawn or not? Looking like it's probably going to be a passing play. We'll see. Schwanzi! I should have bullet passed it, right? I was aiming for the moon with that throw. What can I say? I should have definitely, without a doubt in my mind, I definitely should have just bullet passed it. That probably would have got there a lot faster, my dude. Boom! Oh, shit. Good tackle, Roger. Hey, he still gave him the first down, though. They snagging on us on that outside, man. Is that you, Flem? Pretty accurate representation of Flem, man. Looks exactly like him. I ain't trying to lose to UTEP, man. We just got ranked. What is with me getting ranked and then losing my status instantaneously, my dude? Seriously. The sack got there. Oh, no. This is not good. Ooh, he dropped it anyway. All right, so they only go up by six points. Wow, okay. Come on, Shaletto. Oh! Worth a shot! Go, McGinnis! Ooh, time out. Are we, are we even in full goal range right now? No. No, we're not. Oh my goodness. I actually feel kind of disgusted right now. I'll be honest with you. It's like three to nine to UTEP. I get it's raining. I get the atmosphere. We're playing away. First game pressure ranked ETC, but still, man. But it's like, ready? But let's go, McGinnis. You got this, Tim O'Neill. I know this UTEP defense is all of a sudden like. The Legion of Boom in their prime. We can pull this out, right? Of course we can't. Because we've got two D linemen that run as fast as one of our fastest players. There we go. Good pressure, D. Where are you going to throw when you've got Schwanzes flapping everywhere on defense? That. Stop. Good job, you dick. I feel like the rain is more our enemy here than UTEP A. Like, the rain is so OP, dude. Hey, pro strats, bro. Can't let the UTEP defense see this. Otherwise, they'll just pick us off Insta, right? Mid-release, my dude. Like, this pressure is like some Madden 18 shit right now. Ay, ay, ay. How have we not scored a singular touchdown yet, man? Oh, shit, I'm on Castillo. Not good, not good, not good. Wide open. Good play, good play. Now we got to score twice, and we've struggled to score once. Bro, I gotta lower that threshold. That is ridiculous, bro. Everybody's fast as my fastest player. We've essentially got a score now, hey. Now or never, my dude. Let's go wide open. There are so many triggered people down in the comment section right now. <laughs> And I guess at this point, it's pretty safe to say that TJ is chilling on the sideline, just laughing at this Green Lake team. Get ranked and they get knocked out by UTEP. How, bro? Every play is legitimately a first down. There is no second and one, second and inches, third and two. It's all first downs. What is this? What a fumble at Gresh is raining! Stiletto, mate, I love ya.
I love ya. But that was some bitch ass defense. Good effort. Fam, I'm so close to breaking this damn controller, eh? <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna go for it on fourth down right here. If we do not get this, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Of course, there's 300 people there waiting for us. Headlined by the scrubbiest of them all, Sir Perum Crow. As UTEP scores again, I don't know what happened. Like, teams like UAB and such like that will compete with them and then eventually break away because overall we are the better team. UTEP is one of the more mediocre teams we're going to face this season. And we got smashed. Definitely not a good sign going forward. We ran the same type of offense. I don't know if the rain is just our kryptonite or what. I don't know if that whole TJ Livingston has anything to do with it. If you did make it this far in the video, thank you all so much. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And from your boy personally, much love. Peace. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care at all You've been out all night, I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words, now